So we had a pool of animals. Uh, our Sam came up with it. Yeah. So what happened was okay. uh, I did this morning because uh, we picked this yesterday and just never uh, sent each other a list of animals to do. This morning I texted you and Jimmy, do we have animals? And we were like, no. Yeah. So then I texted Luke, said, because he's been making our pools. Right. Uh, you know, fruit, and colors, all that. Fruit was a good one. Uh, fruit was good. So I texted him. Uh, he didn't answer by the time I like got in the car. So then sure. I texted Sam and said, would you be interested Uh and she said yes. She sent sure them was. over, Clutch. and then right when I parked here, Luke sent me a list, mm. <laughs> and then I said, "Not too bad." The list mm. is dead. I respect that. Uh, so the list from Sam: panda, gorilla, giraffe, penguin, koala, elephant, otter, <sighs> peacock, flamingo, tiger. I'll run it through again: panda, gorilla, giraffe, penguin, koala, elephant, otter. Peacock, flamingo, tiger. You know what I'll do? I'll share that with the chat. Nice. Important to note: there's DH and starting pitcher mm-hmm. here. Starting which I pitcher like. and DH. Um, yeah, you know that's the future of baseball. So, and I think I think there's one that potentially all three of us can agree on. There's one when it got included in the list. I thought we'd all potentially agree. Yeah. So the way I normally I do these is I I find my locks and then I build everything around That's that. That's what I did, yeah. I was struggling early cuz I didn't find a lock. You may have revealed something that I do think was a lock and now is a lock. So we'll see. Um I think we normally we go around the horn and then we, we figure it go out. go around the we go yeah, base by base. Uh position by position rather. So let's I think we do we usually start behind the plate. I think we normally do start with the catcher. I like um, that. I'll uh I'll go first. I'll throw it out there. Nominating yourself. Yeah. Classic. Pretty big of me. <laughs> uh I'm going with the gorilla behind the plate. Very nice. I don't hate that. Uh I just think kind of the gorilla power stance is mm. kind of naturally blocking balls. Mm. Uh, big chest keeps everything in front of him. Of course, and I actually have my gorilla as one of the better players on this team. Um, oh, gorilla mashes! Yeah, of course. I, yeah, so He's jacked. Um, yeah. Who do you guys have behind the plate? You want to uh, go first, Dave? I w- I would like to. I this is where I I placed koala. Okay, oh, interesting. you know, a little, a little chunkier. You know, playing mm-hmm. into some stereotypes on that, but I have him as. Like he's one of the better offensive catchers that I think I've placed in one of these. Mm. Like he he can really hit. Mm. Um, so he's he'll be kind of in a premier spot in my lineup too. Yeah, with but. the Pirates going on here, and then like Koala behind the dish, I'm getting like Jason Kendall vibes a little mm. bit. Oh. Like good hitting okay. catcher. I don't think you can talk about Jason Kendall. Huh? Here. Yeah, we had a great interview. We with him. love we him did. too yeah. much. Oh, okay, okay, I won't say <laughs> in a good about way. Him, good, 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 You'll get good. me excited. Mm. Can Jake? you keep track of these BBD? Mm-hmm. Thank you, Jake. We're in agreement. For yeah, catcher. I pondered. I pondered. Elephant. Here's the thing. I feel like Gorilla would be really good at throwing runners out. I feel like he just has a cannon back there. Yeah, and like you can argue for both that maybe nothing gets by, no pass balls. But I just think Gorilla has that better arm, so he's my catcher as okay. well. Okay. Also a good hitter in my lineup. We're in lockstep on Gorilla. Yeah, yeah I. Uh I think baseball fans know that feeling, like when a game's close and you see a couple balls go in the dirt and they're mm. just smothered, and you're almost like, "Damn, like that could have been a free run." Exactly. But not with Gorilla, and nothing can calculate that. You know, not that with doesn't really go on paper. Um. Okay. Sweet. Me and Jolly are on that BBD. I like your reasoning. Yeah, I like and I and I don't be, mind them. a lot of what you said is why. I mean, I'll I'll move on to the next position because it's first base, and that's where I placed Gorilla. Oh, oh. interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't hate that either. Okay, you uh, you put the Alpha Gorilla over there, Jolly. I think I'll I'll tee it up to you because I th- this is the one thing you revealed on instant reaction, but it could yeah. have changed. It did not change. Okay. I went with the tallest animal for first. Maybe that's a little one-dimensional of me, yeah. but giraffe is just a lock for first base, in my opinion. Just it's no high throws, you know? No high throws is obviously what the giraffe provides. I When I build my team, I normally start with the starting pitcher, mm. and giraffe was in play there. Right. You know, it was for me, too. Definitely in yeah. play. Um, but when I thought about it, and I thought about a giraffe actually being on the mound, I kind of wasn't into it. And then when I started to figure out some of my locks, 
giraffe was forced to, to yeah. first base for okay. me. So, right. um, interested to see where BBD has the giraffe. We'll see later on. Because I did ponder gorilla for first base. I, well, I had option. I had all these same thoughts about giraffe mm. on my first instinct, and then when we got our pool, um, other people stuck out for the positions I was considering giraffe. Mm. Uh, and then I, I did land a place that I really like with him. Okay. okay. That's good. But I feel like Giraffe has to be your starting pitcher now, right? Like, where else could he go? I feel like there's one other position. I'm I'm interested to okay. see where, where BBD has okay. the friendly Giraffe. There could be an outfield spin. Um, over at second base, I feel like second base and third base got a little tricky here. Mm-hmm. Um, this one fell in a little bit by default. And I actually do like it now. I have the friendly penguin at second oh base. Oh my gee. Yes. The same. Yeah. Oh, wait, yes. Sweet. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I, I think so. The penguin is my favorite animal. Mm, so coming pick. into this, I was a little nervous because I love penguins. I also love the positions third base and center field mm. naturally. Um, so I got a little scared of that. I knew Penguin couldn't play center. Yeah, no. But I thought I might end up in a world where I have Penguin at third, but I thought my heart might be too attached. When I started placing other players, Penguin, and who the Penguin is, fits at second. Yeah. And it's, he's got a little bit of pop. A little scat- He's a little flashy. You know I, mean? he's, yeah. I don't want to say Dan Ugla, it's but sneaky. like. It's much more. Oh, I have him less. Less, less power stout. Than. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I have, Dan Ugla is a big. I, know, I have him. A, yeah, I have him like, with some flu- with quite a bit of pop. I mean, I uh, really. Yeah, I, I have an Albies comp. Okay. Oh, wow. I mean, that's, that's like obviously, strong. obviously the penguin they waddle around. That's not the right. but he's also it's like Albies meets Pedroia a little bit. He's gonna slide around, good get dirty. Mm. The good slide. Good slide. Good. Not slides. bad. Not so bad. the penguin sweeps at second. Okay. Yeah, that's not the sweep I predicted. By the way. Okay. Not the sweep I predicted. Not the sweep I predicted. That's fantastic. Ooh, okay. Um, are we three for three? We're three for three. You guys are the three same for three. Scary. Orchestration. You guys are right gorilla, now. giraffe, scary. penguin. No way we have the same lineup, though. Come on. Well, that's where that's where things that's where things yeah. get interesting. Let's, um, let's let's be real. Shortstop. This is always I don't want to say contentious, but people get passionate about their shortstop. This was my sweep. It's, it's typically our. This is your sweep. Best my player. Sweep. Should I go first? Please. I think this one is an obvious lock for Tiger. Yep. I, I just. Tiger. Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yes. Uh, most athletic on the field, right? Like, just the scariest looking, like, most yeah. athletic, you know. I would have been really interested if Lion ended up in our player pool. That what would have happened, right. what the Tiger-Lion yeah. dynamic would have mm-hmm. been. That would have gotten heated. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, I think uh, Tiger, again, kind of fell into place because normally in these, a lot of the kind of best athlete mm-hmm. kind of guys you mold around ends up being up the middle. There's yeah. an argument for starting pitcher. There's an argument for catcher. Center field and shortstop are yeah. usually tight. Um, but with a lot of the other players in this, and we'll see, Tiger at shortstop is a power play. Yeah, I have a mm-hmm. Carlos Correa comp. Uh, I mean, right there, you know. yeah, there's a lot of dynamics in play there. Get it, guys? Get there's it? a lot of <clears throat> dynamics in play. Okay, Jolly, I don't like that we are four for four. Yeah, it's a little questionable. This is where... This was my hardest position. If we're here, this, I'm third? scared... If we're here, I'm scared. If if we match up here, we might have the same Cause orchestration. Because then, then things get a little spooky. Um, at third base, BBD, did you say your third baseman already? I didn't say it. Okay, this has been this was my hardest this was position by you, right? far. I I had a late audible on this one. I oh. audibled and unaudibled. because there's wow. a guy that's related to one of these positions. I can right, but for mannerisms. I put the friendly koala at third base. Okay, we differ here. We differ here. Huge. I went with your original play, which I assume was Panda at third for Pablo Sandoval. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I went for. I went neither. Okay. Oh, this is the first one I think all different. And we're all different. That's the first time you guys have deviated. Well, Um, peas in a pod, if you will. This is where I I ended up, and I can be talked out of this one. This Again, this was the hardest position for me. Most flip-floppy by me, Peacock. Mm. Wow. It's a peacockable position. Peacockable. Peacock. I mean, peacock has a certain connotation with it. I mean, flashing the feathers, flashing the leather. Yeah. I think you mm-hmm. could do that. Oh, that's good. Peacock. Yeah, peacock was a tricky one. 
uh, on this. Uh, he was, but he was him. It was an issue with Peacock. I couldn't place him. I see the spin. I I guess where I landed in, and I don't want this to be a shot fired at you, Charlie. Because about this. Is, your your first lineup draft of zoo animals, That's true. <laughs> um, you know, panda, third base, Sandoval, all of that was just spinning through my head. But at the same time, I don't want that at third base. Interesting. Bit. And then mm. I was thinking about when I picture koalas moving, it's kind of like a dynamic third baseman a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like it's kind of like rolling. Yeah. And it's kind of like going to the side, making the crazy play. So, and. I didn't like otherwise the koala for me ended up at DH. Mm, and I don't have nah, koala like bringing DH, that yeah. to the table. Yeah. So no, I felt confident in my DH play. Okay. So I feel confident in mine. So I think we met at the same one. So koala I, I go pan, into this panda. And, yeah. Uh peacock. peacock. At third. I think okay. panda's not a third baseman lifer, but I think he's in a good spot <laughs> in his career. Where he can That's where right he debuts. Now. Yeah. I think he moves to left maybe first later on. Or he goes mm. to the AL. <laughs> They all do. They all do. Okay. We are heading to the outfield. Mm-hmm. I was just in my head. Don't know if I want to do left, center, or right. I guess left, numerically. Left right. I think left might be another three-way split. This was the toughest player for me throughout this. Uh, I have the friendly otter in left. I have otter. I'm not left. too wow. confident about it, but BBD's got my back. So what do you have, sucker? Interesting. I have koala in left. Okay. I kind of liked your rationale for third, but I applied that to the okay. corner outfield a little bit. Just because I don't, I don't necessarily view the koala as all too athletic. I think of like the sleepiness of a koala. Right. And like, uh, strong like, arm. Strong arm. But koala's not going to DH, right? So like, where do you stick him? You stick him in left. Yeah. 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 I have koala being a little... It's working in a short area, which yeah. is why he ended up behind the plate a little bit. And little it gets stout. tricky because the otter is the only sea creature in this. I guess penguins kind of are. Yeah, yeah. they both do some swimming. So <laughs> it came down to otters, I think, are fast. For a little bit, I pictured left field being water, which was fun <laughs> for me. <laughs> that was just a fun mental exercise. <laughs> like the koala, like center field hates going over there. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, okay, me and BBD lined up on the otter. Yeah. Otter was tough to place in this exercise, he, being full-blown sea creature. I, I made that decision for him rather Do quickly, but he is? sort of— Otters are fast, I he think. Sort of right? They kind of live on land. Yeah. I think, I think they, so. Yeah, they would be—they can do— They just look a badass and all. Yeah. They start doing yeah. the spin. They right. spend a lot of their time yeah. in the water. Right. I think I like koala behind the dish Otters best out of our koala placements. I think your rationale made the most sense. Mm, it would have so. been if you take gorilla out from behind the dish. There's a third base argument there. Mm-hmm. BBD, you had them at first. I mean, I don't know. Gor- gorilla in a position to to block some some balls and yeah. he obviously hits right. for a ton of power. Of course, of course, a lot of pop. Potentially your best. Just overall hitter on this team. A lot of pop. Mm. Um, okay. Center field. This could be a sweep. Well, I know that it's not. Actually. Wow. Good. I'm going to come out and had. say it. I have Otter in center field. I'm going with speed in center. Really? I'm going with speed in center. Okay. I view Otter as like my speedy top or bottom lineup guy, and it just makes the most sense to have his glove out there. He's BBD? sneaky. Yeah, I mean... Otter fast, so I, I mean I tend to put my fast outfielder that isn't going to be a center fielder and left because I have Yankee Stadium biases. Sure, of course, of course. Um, obviously. But my center fielder uh, I know differs because it's it that is where I place giraffe. Oh, giraffes are a sneaky fast animal. Interesting, they are. That's reach. true. As okay. soon as as soon as I identified who my pitcher was going to be, so giraffe couldn't be there, and then I didn't I liked but didn't love him at first as much mm. as I liked gorilla over there. And I was like, well. We can use his height and speed in the outfield very nicely. He can go rob some homers. It's a good point. Okay. Like it's that. an interesting spin. I thought you were going to have Giraffe and Wright thinking of just like robbing home runs. That's almost like right. Yankee mm-hmm. Stadium spin. Just I like, originally had him there, and then yep. I couldn't think of an outfielder like to play major. center besides Otter. I Okay, so I guess I'm a little blindsided on this. I put the Flamingo in center. Oh. Um I have a, a picture. I picture flamingos being kind of bored, and then they glide. Kind of Carlos Beltran mm, on defense. Sure. I don't have him with that offensive production, no, yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, I just have them kind of out there like not having a good time, and then it's like ball deep in the gap, runners on go. first and second, yeah. and they just like well, they can just make the. I I see the leg. the flamingo in center as sort of like a young Jason Hayward type because he just had those strides okay. and he made some yeah. plays. You know what I mean? Like he was like deceivingly fast. Mm. I thought. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even take the time to consider. Flamingo, I was so set wow. on where I was going to oh, right. put him. Which, I mean, we're down to a different position, so you can guess. I'm um, guessing you have Flamingo and right. Oh, let's go, Dave. <coughs> let's go. Interesting. Do you have Peacock and right? Interesting. Yeah, Peacock's over at third. And oh. he, my my third base right field, uh, I flipped them like oh, so three who's times. Le- is it Penguin? Who's left for you? So I think I know what he's done. Okay. Uh, I, I too have track. Peacock and right field. I also have Peacock have and pe- right field. You guys both have Peacock, peacock and, right and right field. field. So now I really wish I went. I mean, these, it's okay. that's the beauty of it's these. Right. We it's do okay. switch them up pretty often. Um, Jolly, I don't know if you caught any of it. When we originally did this with, we did a lineup of colors. I watched the fruit one, not the color one. Oh, and it colors, really opened up colors the world. really is. Right field is kind of blinded my right field situation forever. Mm. Um, and... Peacock, this was purple on mm-hmm. the colors. Is a true showman. Yeah. Um, a lot of hair, mm-hmm. a lot of nice plays. Gotcha. Peacocking. Um, that that's how I landed there. Another one by default. I was I was hoping someone else would land out there, but then it just flamingo, peacock, and otter kind of became my outfield. You I can will see say. some synergy there. Yeah, I uh, want I, I synergy. Like. I think is good. This was a late audible for me too. Okay. Like during the show Audible. Whoa. Had to, had to change of heart. Wow. Had to change of heart. I um you know, I I might make a change. Okay. Uh, cuz I was I was going back and forth between elephant and right field and third base so many oh, times. Okay. Cuz elephant when I got caught up in I uh, liking having giraffes height and center, I was like, "Well, I can double that up with elephant and right. I certainly have elephant as somebody who with a strong arm." And I I couldn't get over like would that trunk be able to field ground balls? Right. And right. I think it could. It could. Um, Big body, too. And w- you'll mm-hmm. see w- what ultimate – the lineup construction is what made sure. me determine the defensive construction again later, which is mm-hmm. a mistake. I, so I, I, I might go back and trust it and put Peacock and right Elephant at third. Follow your heart yeah. on I'm it. I'm going to do it. I like matching. Okay. 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 Done. Because I, d- I, I know I considered it. Right. Elephant was a tricky one in this because, man, they are a delightful animal, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what they do with their trunk. Um, I have the panda at DH. This is I, where I have panda. I, oh, wow. Really? Again, I think Sandoval got in my head, and it's not young giant stud Sandoval. No, yeah. it's, it's older years. It's yeah. like not quite Red Is it Red Sox year Sandoval? I feel like it's like his, his later resurgence. I'm thinking like pinch hit home run Sandoval. That was then, fun. Huh? That was fun, right? Then he was traded for NLCS MVP then it got, Eddie Rosario. Then it got less fun for me. Yeah. Probably more fun for baseball fans, but less fun for me. God, I tough. have a I have elephant at DH. I thought this it was, was a play. It was. I thought it was, it was a, lock. a move. I'm not gonna lie. That was like one of the first ones I decided. Just because, like, I didn't know where I would put him. Right field was my only thought, really. Other than like, third I liked base, him in maybe. right as well. It was. More, it was more. I didn't. I liked him more than Peacock at both positions. Yeah, right and third. Mm-hmm. So. Again, this is where when I build these out, it usually starts with starting pitcher, and that's where I landed with elephant because oh. I pictured them with their snout just powerhouse, just twirling it. Kind yeah. of. I don't like making this comparison because I think people will take it in the rude way, mm. but Bartolo Colon. Yeah, no, yeah, I knew that's just exactly where you heavy going. fastball. Mm-hmm. You kind of know what's coming, but he knows what he's doing. Yep. You snap. He snaps off a couple, but it's two seam, two and seam. Elephant's two been in the seam. league for like fifteen years. And he's, he's a pro, and he, we can we can be nicer about it and say Lance Lynn. Oh, yeah, I like that comp. Too. I I don't have El- Elephant that dominant. Mm. Gotcha. Um, I mean, somewhere Bartolo between Bartolo has a sigh between Lance and Bartolo. Yeah, I do have an older. It's Boy, not old old Bart. Line. Bart throwing nine eighty four. Right now with. With movement, it, you I know. think th- 30s Bart is just more entertaining. Yeah, honestly. let me. I'll find my year of Bartolo Colon. Wh- who do you guys have uh, pitching? And it's, I think we're in uh, agreement, right? Is it 
It's Flamingo. Flamingo. Yeah. yeah. I went late. It ran through the my mind. The second I saw Flamingo, yeah. I was like, that's happening. That's this, the this Jerry's Levin. Like yes, this all yes, day. yes, yeah. exactly, exactly. That, you got Blevins. I went tall, lanky, it just makes sense. Like, you know Flamingo has good mechanics. When you say right. Flam- when you said Flamingo was lefty, a little light bulb went off in my head. Like, he sure is. <laughs> Flamingo. He absolutely. Sure is. The second that came across, I was like, well, Flamingo stand in that, like, ready position to, to yep. throw. Yep. Um, that, uh, you know. Knee bend and uh, flamingo finesse. Yeah. Ooh, like that. Like that. Pitcher. Finesse pitcher. My late audible was the switching of flamingo and peacock. I originally had peacock as my pitcher. Uh, sort of like the show Could your have been feathers, a play, yeah. scare your hitters. Yes, type deception. Thing. Intimidation and deception. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, I do like that. Yeah. I wish I, because I was so locked into flamingo. I like flamingo more. I think you made the right call. I like flamingo on the mound more. Again, it was like peacock. I, I could see him at. Now three different spots, sure. but I just liked someone else there more. Yeah. That's, That's how it goes. Have you decided on a Bartolo? I did. It's a 2015 New York Mets, 42 nice. year old Bart, four four one six ERA. Not bad. Uh, he le- 194 innings. He led wow. the league in hits given up. Wow. <laughs> but <laughs> to that terrible. Defense but a four one six ERA. Like Not he bad. was. He gave his team a chance yeah. when he was out there. The next year, 2016, he had Mark a good was year. An he was an all-star. Yeah. Yep. People forget. Uh, People three, forget. Three, four, three. I'm not giving him that. Although his numbers are eerily similar, yep. it's just baseball. Yep. Um, okay, so we did that. Uh, I dig it. We will now get to the lineup portion, um, and I think we just we just chew through it. Um, now I think we have like half of the same layout. So if our lineups are similar too, that's things. That's where things could get a little crazy. A little rough. Um, and we'll find out off the bat because I think this becomes the pivot piece. I put Tiger one. I put Tiger one. Wow, extremely bold. I have yeah. Otter first in center field. So speed. I ended up. I put him nine second yeah. leadoff guy, and I like to start off with go. some pop. I wanted to get a bunch of guys as many at bats as possible. So the, the more and more I compared Otter to the other animals, his abilities kept dropping down okay. my list a little bit. He's my table sitter. But you did a player did have to get slid up in the lineup to get to the meat of the lineup. Right. So I think we all kind of have whoever that is. Mm-hmm. For me, it was my two hitter Peacock. Oh, um, fun. Yes, um, you know Peacock probably doesn't deserve the two hole, but it is to stretch the lineup. Yeah, I get that. Dave, you want next? Maybe Eddie Rosario. Uh, that might be my Peacock. Comp. I like that comp. This like is it. where I in, I placed Gorilla. Uh, I have okay. him as my best overall hitter on the team, um, but he's got he's got some on base ability as well. So there's guys behind him that that can drive him in, and he can do the driving in if. If Otter from the nine hole or Tiger are on it in front of him, sure, I like that. This is where I put Tiger. I think Tiger's okay. the best hitter in the lineup, the most well-rounded player, just the guy that makes the money and puts the asses in the seats. Mm. So that's selling tickets. Yeah, he's selling mm. tickets. It's Tiger. Ball. We've had some ticket teams yeah. on here. Yeah. Um, who was the the color draw? Do you remember? Who was the color? Like who who put asses in the seats in your color lineup? Uh, people come to watch pink. Purple was flashy. Pink. I um, like that. Purple's a fan favorite. I was just gonna assume um, like red or something. King purple. King purple. No, there was a lot of discrepancies on what red is. Blue mm. sells tickets. Blue. Blue is reliable. Blue. Yeah. Blue yeah, was blue. a shortstop pitcher type. I like it. Um, okay, three BBD. Everything you just said. I have gorilla. I had gorilla well two. But I actually, because I was, I started building my lineup and it started getting thin. Yep. Slid Peacock Everybody up, slid moved Gorilla down. Gorilla is three for me as well. At catcher as well. Okay. There Look at go. that. There you go. Three uh, hole and Gorilla. My, catcher. JJ Magic. I'm trying to write down lineups. So oh, he's speed running. So Speeding. Gorilla. It's both of Gorilla catching in your three hole, my third hitter. This is where I have uh, the DH, the Panda. Mm, I like that too. Panda was originally my number three, but I bumped him down a little bit. It was an option. Um, it's understandable. I have, I mean, to keep it moving, I had Panda 4. Panda 4. Panda 4. Um, mm. <clears throat> Could have been there. If I, again, I thought about bumping Otter or Penguin all, all the way up top and bumping mm. everyone down, that would have yeah. been 4. I have uh, Elephant, DH. At four. That makes sense. I also have Elephant. If, if Elephant uh, wasn't my pitcher and yep. ended up in right or 
or third or wherever. Yeah, I think That's he's slugging over five hundred. I think you want him up with runners on. Yeah, elephant. He's my third baseman. Yep. He's uh, he's batting fourth. Okay. Okay. So both clean up elephants. Clean up from elephants. you. You two. Good. Uh, I have koala five. Mm. Okay. Hi. It's wait. You two. Yeah. Wow. So this he's guy my catcher batting fifth. Mm. Koala. This part of my lineup got a little interesting. Again, I'm trying to not stretch out, guys. I want more from Koala, mm. and that's kind of why he's in the five spot. You're putting him in a spot to succeed. I want Koala to he take had, the next step. And he has yeah. some some support behind he's him. He's got the skills. Right. You're protecting him, too. He's got the skills. Um, but, yeah, it's it's a hopeful five. Yeah. Like, the other team sees Koala at five, and they're like, hey, let's get through the first four. Yeah. They got first and second two out. Let's we'll get, get this guy. Yeah. And then he surprises you. I have Panda five. I got uh sure. I want I want him collecting the most RBIs on the team. Better lineup mm-hmm. depth with Elephant in yeah. there. But like the way you guys put out your lineups, you have more evenness throughout. Mine tails off towards the end. That's the difference here. Okay. And he's your third baseman. Yep, third baseman. Um fifth. Yeah. Yeah. Who yeah. was five for you? Uh, Koala. That's right, Koala, my okay. catcher. Beautiful. So uh, Bottom, entering the back half of the lineup. Yep. Yeah, so six, and this is so I started to see some things come together in my lineup. Um, six, I have giraffe uh, at first base, uh, and I have giraffe. I kind of had a whoa moment. Uh, my giraffe is James Loney. Um, <laughs> you know, the power is like not necessarily there, yeah. but good hitter. Like, good hitter. The people want giraffe to bat. In front of Koala, but they don't understand the long game right, of right, what we're trying right. to do. Like he's pretty, he's solid protection for yeah. Koala. Um, the other yeah. team's he's not a guy scared, but he's a good hitter. Mm. Yeah. Bat to I, ball. Koala's or er, draft's not my next guy, but I, he's going to be my seven hole hitter. Okay, uh, mm. and I have him protecting the guy who's in my six hole Penguin. So I'll just talk about both of their dynamics. Of course. Penguin batting six, he's a bit of a change of pace. Mm. Uh, he could use the protection of having Giraffe behind him. Because uh, you just don't want guys on base for Giraffe. Uh, mm. You think you can work around him, and if you don't make a mistake, you're probably going to be okay. But if you make a mistake to Giraffe, he's going to drive runs in. And uh, mm. Okay. So now I have Giraffe in, in the seven hole, Penguin in the six hole. Penguin has some speed, so if he's on for Giraffe, he has speed on the base paths, can go can go swipe a bag. Mm. Okay. I like that. Sneaky giraffe I really like the Loney comp. I also Thank have you. Giraffe batting six yeah. and playing first base. So Look we match at that. Up there. I have... He's like a Casey Kochman type. Oh, there you go. There yeah, you for, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're just choking. I um, love Casey Kochman. Giraffe at offensively. Um, I have him in center field, obviously. So I was thinking about center mm-hmm. fielders. He's he's kind of Aaron Hicksy to me. Like yeah, like yeah. Look, he's he still strikes out a lot. He's gonna work some walks. You might not be the most scared of him in your lineup. Don't make a mistake to him though. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's a good player. Don't throw him a meatball. No, He's a good play. And BBD, you're all over it because I, I actually had Penguin seven, but uh, Penguin is the guy that all of the, the Twitter accounts want slid up. Mm. He's got mm. the good OPS. The Twitter is saying bat Penguin fifth, like get Koala out of there. Learn um, ball. But on. Penguin is partially protecting that part of the lineup and stretching out yeah, the lineup. Yeah, stretches it out. Um, but, yeah, like if playoffs come and Koala's not right, yeah. that's the switch Penguin that could happen. slide up. Because yeah. he's had the season. You'd swap like, yeah, Bregman, Bregman's out of the three hole. Yeah, yes. exactly. Um, Jolly? I have Peacock seventh. Okay. Playing right field. I think nice balanced hitter to have leading off that last third of your lineup is good there. Uh, I don't actually. I don't have a comp for Peacock. I liked your Eddie Rosario pick. I, I, it kind of rings true to me. Just like not not a great OBP, but like can hit for power, clutch. I Peacock know you can't measure clutchness. Thing. He does his thing. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And you can sneak a trade for him at the deadline. Mm. 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 Not from our team though. That's how we got him. And again, my seven hole was giraffe. Giraffe. Gotcha. Yeah. Right. From six to seven. Right. Uh, so this is where. My love for the otter continued to dwindle, mm. which made me a little sad. I put him eight to get a better double leadoff in the nine hole. Mm. Um, 
No love for Otter on this pod. Yeah, really? man, and it's tough. He's so cute. He's it's a, tough. I googled Otter picks during this, and now I like feel awful. Like about the fans where I land. buy his jerseys. The girl, the girls love Otter. Yeah, like Come there's on. a little like Tyler Wade, like yeah. Otter's beloved. You give, give him a real but... chance, guys. All right, my Otter comp for center field because that's where I have him. Okay, Brian Reynolds. I mean, <sighs> that's a stud. That's a that's okay. My guy. You have a pretty I'm, legit I'm, otter. I'm high on the otter. I'm high on the otter. You okay, believe that's good. I'm very I high wish on the otter. eight hole for you. I wish I no. Had he's hitting that first for me. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I no. wish I had that for the yeah. otter. I'm saying, I want. I'm like, you know what? You guys have confidence for a koala, and that just wasn't there for me. Yeah. You know, it goes both ways. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, we are koala believers. Yeah. Uh, and then my eight hole, uh, this is where I have peacock. Okay. Mm. Is a good player, just kind of again, just kind of where he fit in my lineup. Um, like uh, as far as offensive like profile, I don't know about ability. Mm. I was th- I've been think I was thinking about Gio Urshela. Obviously, mm. I'm a Yankee centric person. Sure. Like, hey, it's really nice to have him batting eighth. Yeah, this is a good like this is a good team. Mm. Obviously, yeah. Um, my uh, my koala is eighth here, and, and again, I also had him at third base a little. Bit, third base. So. Gotcha. Uh, but he's in right field now because I wanted, wanted to match you guys, and I was considering that anyway. Mm. Sure. Uh, okay. And then I have the the Flamingo 9. Um, he uh, yeah, just kind of looks like he doesn't care sometimes. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, can track Glides. down a ball in center field. When you put a ball – puts a ball in the gap, it's kind of must-watch. Glides. Yeah. Constantly gliding. I don't have the comp, but that's my nine hole guy. Did you like Jason Hayward comp or no? I did. I saw okay. what you were doing there. A yeah. young Jason Hayward yeah. gets yeah. put in center. He yeah. doesn't really have his feet under his bat yet, yeah. but he has a good glove. Me either. Yeah. <laughs> DVD? Um, my nine hole hitter, this is where I have Otter, second lead off. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Speed. Gotcha. Yeah, and my I, nine I like hole... having a nine hole hitter that So like leading the right back into the, the one. Order. Yeah. Okay. Could, like, wait, so who is your leadoff hitter? My leadoff is Tiger. Okay, so on Tiger's off days, does Otter get to bat leadoff? Mm. Interesting. Or do you still keep him down there? I think I think it still ends up. You love Otter. I love Otter. I, I like Otter. Don't man. slide Otter. Otter has. <laughs> Come on, don't man. feel pressure. Otter, Otter's played that role. I think it would be Penguin <sighs> popping up there. Unreal. Damn. Um, Unreal. All right. Well, I got I got Penguin batting ninth for me playing second okay. base. I have him as like a skip Schumacher type. Mm. Like Penguin plays other positions too. But okay, his position he's your versatile guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, he, he would deserves slide to start somewhere else. Yep, absolutely. Um, okay, it's yeah. beautiful. The, the the so what was really killing me about my peacock elephant left right field third base situation was that my bottom three are my center field right field left field and i don't oh. like the outfielders mm, yeah all being at the bottom that is a weird feeling it's bad for the it brand i feel so like. yeah. weird it's yeah. you're basically saying my outfield is weak when you do that yeah yeah and it's like i like i don't feel that way right but they are in theory the three worst hitters i mean i can swap giraffe and penguin but how different really is that mm. um and that's why I liked like the top of my lineup because it was outfield, shortstop, catcher. So mm. like three sides of the ball there. Mm. Yeah, and I, had, one, I two, mean three. my one, my one through three was shortstop first, DH. Like mm. I was comfortable with that mix. So if, so when I had so I, when I came in here, I was like, oh, elephant, elephant and right, and Peacock over at third kind of fixes that conundrum in my head. But uh, ultimately, I do like this defensive lineup better for me. Mm. So I'm just I'm just doing it. What's wrong with it? It's beautiful. Um, BBD, do you want to run through the lineups quick? I do have. Uh, You're coming up the against lineups. our time a little bit. So Ooh, a little bit. Uh, Jake, you one to nine. Tiger, Peacock, Gorilla, Panda, Koala, Giraffe, Penguin, Otter, Flamingo. I had Tiger, Gorilla, Panda, Elephant, Koala, Penguin, Giraffe, Peacock, Otter. Uh, Jolly, you were otter, tiger, gorilla, elephant, panda, giraffe, peacock, koala, penguin. Love it. Beautiful. Uh, That was the zoo animal draft. 